Welcome to Gold Talks. On these little clips, we're going to meet some very interesting people that are going to connect sports, football particularly, and mental health and wellness. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to Gold Talks. Today we have a gentleman um, who's on the other side of the Canadian border, a very nice gentleman uh, with a fantastic background. He's going to talk to us today um, on Gold Talks about mental health and sport and how he might have seen how we can benefit just about anybody in any age, race, or gender. Zubin, thank you for joining us on Gold Talks today. Thanks, Paul. Uh, so the question basically with uh, the Gold Foundation and everything that we're uh, trying to do is to get the message out that mental health and sport, and we're using football as our main you know, heart-pumping activity, um, can only do good. Have you in your life ever seen sport help clear your mind, help you calm yourself down, help you grab focus on something uh, that might be, you know, throwing you off in your day because everybody has those days. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think for me, um, what I struggle with from time to time is anxiety. And for those of you that uh, struggle with anxiety in any form, uh, you realize that it just comes and you can't really control it. Um, and I think that in those times, being able to go and do something that uh, allows your heart rate to go up, gives you a sense of control, uh, that often helps for me. So if I'm going to go play football, if I'm going to go uh, ride the Peloton, go work out, whatever, and, and typically not like a free form workout, but a form workout that's like gets your mind off things. Like if you're playing football in a game or you're on a Peloton, you're listing somebody else, that sort of thing helps me a lot. Um, I've also noticed that sport in general helps with mental strength. So due to the pandemic, we couldn't go to the gym. So we got a Peloton again, referencing Peloton, but in February, um, or in ordered it in whatever January, we got in April. When he started, when I started riding the Peloton, I realized that when you start to do endurance classes and things of that nature, you're actually able to push yourself far beyond what you would typically do. The reason why I'm so anxious to play football now that I can't is because I think I'm at a completely different level of endurance than I was before. And it's all mental. It's your mental ability to just get past that hump. And, and again, referencing my brother-in-law, um, he's taught me a lot about that. Um, he's a soccer coach. He's taught me about getting past that hump. And once you get past that hump, it helps you with all aspects of your life. You're struggling with something at work. You're struggling with something at home. You realize the control that you have not the control that you necessarily always have, but what... Yeah, you don't always have. You don't have it. But yeah. if you're able to put yourself in a position, specifically through sport and other things, to get some level of control over your mind, you can apply that to so many other things and reference that in your mind and be like, look, I was able to do that. This is nothing compared to that. So I think that just in general... You're using sport as almost uh, some litmus test point, like some, lit some points of reference exactly. to then say, okay, I'm having a bad day today. Uh, you know, I don't want to scream at somebody while I'm in the car. Uh, I don't want to yell at somebody because exactly. they don't understand what I'm trying to uh, message or to say, to take a breath, to realize, you know, or just you're having a bad day, man. You do wake up sometimes. You're just like, man, I'm just not in a good space. Absolutely. It sucks. And to sort of take that breath and to use activity to sort of help rebalance or to get over something on a sport level, whatever that level may be, and then use it in the same sort of scenario out in the real world, well, not in the real world, excuse me, in your world. Exactly. Whether if, if you can take a break and do some activity that you regularly do, um, it just gets your mind off of that or even reference that activity when you're going through it and, and help you overcome it. But I think that it just, what I've recognized and, and in observing other people as well in various, probably got something going on. Um, mentally is that it just gets you to a point of equilibrium or helps get you to that point where you feel better barring some injury anytime you work out anytime your heart rate goes up anytime you're able to focus on that thing for a little bit of time you also feel good about yourself too because you've accomplished something physically yeah listen uh that's a perfect answer thank you for uh the little bite-sized things that we're using here for the goal perfect. initiatives foundation's goal talks uh scenario Thank you for coming on and talking with us and we appreciate it and we wish you only the best and, uh, and, and good mental clarity. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, Paul.